So I woke up today totally not planning to do another video, but here we are and I'm eating lunch and working on a brand new video. I mean, I'm not literally eating at the moment, but you know what I'm saying. It's lunchtime and I'm working on a video. And this will be a quick video because I don't got a lot of time to do it. I'm just going to record it really quick and then I'll edit it later and I'll have it up probably later tonight. But it seems like Xbox just can't stop this flow of awesome news surrounding the platform lately. And I wasn't going to miss the opportunity to talk about some positive gaming news on this channel. And with the news of over a dozen backwards compatible games receiving FPS boost for Xbox Series X and S, it continues to be a damn good time to be an Xbox fan. So let's jump right into this news and discuss. Back in February, Xbox debuted its highly touted FPS boost feature for select games and the growth of games on this list has been relatively steady ever since. But today, we've got our largest influx of FPS boost supported titles to date with just over a dozen games receiving that sweet, silky smooth FPS boost. And the even better news is that a lot of these games are absolute bangers. So let's talk specifics on which games are getting the treatment. First up, you've got nearly the entirety of last gen's Battlefield games with Battlefield 4, Battlefield 1, and Battlefield 5. Now, for me personally, I loved Battlefield a lot this last generation. I spent a lot of time with Battlefield 1's multiplayer on both Xbox and PC, and even PS4 sometimes. And also, Battlefield 4 had one of the best FPS campaigns of last generation in my opinion. So I'm definitely hyped to be giving that campaign another go. But you're probably asking me, wait, these games already supported 60 FPS, so how was there an FPS boost? Well, you're right, they did support 60 FPS, but now they support 120 FPS. But it's not just the Battlefield series receiving this treatment. We're also seeing boosts in other EA games like Garden Warfare 1 and 2, Plants vs. Zombies, Battle for Neighborville, both last gen Star Wars Battlefront games, Unravel 2, Mirror's Edge Catalyst, and finally Titanfall 1 and 2. And we're also seeing improvements to Sea of Solitude. Now, you may or may not have seen my review on Titanfall 2, but if you have, then I think it goes without saying that I think very highly of this game. It genuinely is one of my favorite FPS games of all time. Not just last generation, but all time, period, any console. It's got an amazing campaign that leaves you wanting more, and its multiplayer never seems to get old, no matter how much I play it. So if you're looking for a game to play with friends, or just a game with a quick campaign to play through this weekend, then I highly suggest checking out Titanfall 2 and Xbox Game Pass Ultimate via EA Play. And if game subscriptions aren't your jam, well, then you can almost always get Titanfall 2 for any system on sale for like $10 or less sometimes. I don't know what they're paying the back and pat team at Xbox, but there's no way it's enough for all this work they're doing. I mean, it all starts with the work that they did last generation with the Xbox One and the Xbox One X. And now with more power in their hands than ever before with the Series X and Series S, they continue to make these games look and play better than they ever have before. And this is an area where I could see Xbox having an edge for the foreseeable future. Because as of right now, they're more invested than anyone else in the industry right now in making the things that you own better than they ever have been on your new shiny console. But what do you guys think? What's your favorite game from this new list of FPS boosted games? Leave a comment below and let me know what you're thinking. And also, tell me what games you would like to see get the FPS boost treatment. I know for me personally, I've got my fingers crossed for Assassin's Creed Odyssey at some point. Leave a like if you liked the video and please remember to hit that subscribe button because it really does help more than you know. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.